Hey everyone, your designers are here. I'm Anita with Cedar Hill Farmhouse. And I'm Yvonne at Stone Gable. And I'm Kelly at My Soulful Home. And we have tips and tricks and decorating advice for you today. So let's get started. This is episode 67. Feeling bold, decorating with bold colors. Yowza. <laughs> so I like bold colors. I'm, I do I'm not, too. I'm not really decorating with them right now, but black is a big part of my palette, and that's pretty bold and edgy. Well, I think what – right, and people that read our blogs know us for having fairly neutral palettes, but what they don't realize is that I – and I think Yvonne may be the same way. I don't know about you, Kelly, but I've had very neutral – decor for about five years but previous to that all the time up to that point I've always had lots of bold color how about the both of you yes I've had a history of loving bold colors (laughs) (laughs) and living with them and some good some bad some really ugly but um you know a learning process along the way nevertheless and I would say I started um, transforming my home About six years ago, going very neutral, and I really enjoy living with the neutral color palette, but you know what they say, what uh, goes around comes around, so we might be seeing bold colors in our future again. Who knows? Yes, and I've been known to be bold myself. (laughs) Oh, you are bold. Living a colorful life. (laughs) I'm probably the newest uh, of of the three of us to the neutral palette. The, um, I always had decorated with a lot of white, but I definitely had um, what I like to call the autumnal colors in my previous house. Now, in- wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Uh, what colors are these colors that you're talking about? The autumnal. Like the fall leaves colors. Like yellow, green, gold. Might have been Red, gold. rust. Okay, Yvonne. Even some bold orange. I did like orange. Wait a minute. I'm going to have to stop you right there. (laughs) Yvonne, remember when you and I admitted to having the Tuscan phase? Yes, I I get you. somebody here could not admit they had a Tuscan phase? She just said, I miss that totally in her sweet little voice. (laughs) See, I Mm -hmm. think she had a Tuscan phase, but isn't quite admitting it. She's (gasps) calling it, it goes by another name. Now it's Mm -hmm. it's autumnal now. A rose by another name will smell as sweet. Mm -hmm. There you go. Listen, listen, listen. Mm-hmm. Moonlight in Vermont, and while the colors are changing on the trees, is does not a Tuscan vista make? Ah, oh, we well, we mm. think that you are uh, an undercover. You had an undercover, undercover Tuscan, 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 Tuscan romance. The lady does uh, yes. protest too much. What's, what's that movie I love? Uh, what's the, the Diane Lane movie? Isn't she in Tuscany? Um, oh, yes, oh, the yes. mommy. Mm-hmm. What is that one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, no, she's not a mommy, I don't think. Is she a mommy? But anyway. Is it where we... she buys the house? She buys the house, yes. Yeah, that's it's mo- it's about her, she she gets the baby. And she. No, she... It's, that's a different one. That's a different one. Oh, oh that's no it. Baby. That's, oh, that's Diane the one Lane. in Vermont, but not the one in Tuscany. <laughs> <Wait, never mind. laughs> that's okay. Baby Boom. <laughs> Sorry, wait, yeah, Baby Boom. Okay. I no, that's up. Diane Keaton. Uh, I, thought, I thought that's what you said. Okay. Uh, yes. Well, because you were going with my autumnal look. Well, I, you know, yeah. we could be s- slicing uh, hairs, apples, uh, Tuscan <laughs> olives on this one all day long. But okay, I had those colors. Okay. She had a Tuscan face. All right. So I'm let's... not going to call it Tuscan, but okay. Okay, whatever. Yeah, mm-hmm. we, we called you the out. Truth, the truth came out. I did have right. autumnal colors. But, but anyway, the, bold, okay. all right. bold felt good bold. then. Mm-hmm. I never thought bold mm-hmm. felt bad, but I just okay. decided not to do bold anymore. But hey, bold is there. It is something that is appealing to lots of people. It's appealing to us. We love pops mm-hmm. of color all the time. It's just that we're, we've chosen to go through the neutral phase now. Well, here's, here's an interesting thing. Decades ago, bold colors used to be labeled as jewel tones. Jewel and tones, you're right. Basically, it's the same thing done a little more modern. So you can't call it jewel tones because it has... Um, sort of a bad rap of being sort of dated because it's, you know, a few decades ago. So they call it bold colors now. Oh, I know. It sounds more updated. But basically. Jeweled, bold, autumnal, Mm -hmm. Tuscan. Call it what you will. It's color. 
And we're going to tell you how to use it today. So before we get into it, I wanted to say one thing about this. One of the things that I think we all like about neutral, there's so many good things about the neutral, so I just want to make this point. Neutrals are easier to work with. So bold colors are fantastic, Mm -hmm. but I'm just going to say it takes a little more skill to work with them. And also, Anita, can I throw this Mm -hmm. in? Mm Mm-hmm. You don't want to have one room bold and another room neutral and no. another room. You need custom. flow. You need bold well, that colors. Was one of my, you've yes. got, yeah. That's you, a perfect tip. You've got to, if you're going to start doing bold, you've got to carry bold through your house mm-hmm. because it looks very patchworky if you don't. I think that's a very good point. Yeah. You don't want these mm-hmm. soft muted colors off of that you can see through to the other room where there are all these very bold colors. So, But you know, you don't have to go like everything has to be bold, like the walls and the sofa and the, you can, you can, and we'll get into that. You, there are ways to add bold color without like going totally overboard, like to dip your toe into the bold. Well, right. So we're not saying the whole room thing. has to be bold, but mm-hmm. if one room has bold color in it, you really want to make sure that the rooms uh, in the Vista that you can see from that room are also have similar colors similar right, because what we're get, what we're dancing around right now is again the limited or tight color palette even mm, if you're going bold that's, oh, you don't want to have right. a crayon box in your house right you yeah. don't okay, have every single just... color in the rainbow you want to pick a tight color palette so say you want to do blues you could do different hues of blues and then maybe you want to do the complementary color or a complementary color and and pop in some orange and well, so Kelly, you've got a say... limited palette so it's not just a limited palette, but tones. You don't want yeah. everything to be, you want everything to be kind of, I'm not everything, but if you, you want this balance of, so, mm-hmm. so, you know, you're kind of going to go muted or kind of the bold. Well, here's kind of the saying. thing. Mm-hmm. I think you want a bold look, but bold can sometimes look garish. Um, if it, you don't want it to look juvenile, like it's the, it's a crayon box, like it's, you know, the primary colors, like you're doing a nursery. I don't, they don't do nurseries in those colors anymore, but you know, like, um, bright fire engine red and true blues and yellowy yellow, you want them to be more sophisticated colors. Yeah. So you want them to be a little more saturated and saturated, but rich. And usually that's by toning them down a little bit. And they they work well together. And um, I was going to talk about this later, but you sort of brought up a color palette. I just was doing, looking online for some bold color palettes. And, oh, I did come across one I could easily live with. And it was a muslin white, a dark charcoal, and a soft but saturated olive green. Mm. Doesn't that sound pretty? pretty. Mm -hmm. Because it's not too, it's, (laughs) it's not like, Purple velvet. Do you know what I'm saying? Which you, I know there you is didn't. nothing wrong I know, with I was purple just, velvet. I was gonna say that. I think your couch sounded gorgeous. No, no really I just did. made a velvet purple <gasps> which was, bolster for my bed, and it's well, beautiful. And it's that was bold beautiful. color, but that yeah. was beautiful. But it wasn't solid. Do you know what I'm saying? A solid purple, right? What's well, not a solid purple? I thought it. I thought it had white in it. My I bolster. It. Yeah. No, it's solid. It's solid, oh. bold color. Oh, okay. Right, and it's a little pop. Another yeah. nice pairing is uh, a, a navy with a pink, but sort of a peachy pink, almost sliding into, you know, I, I would not Champagne call it orange, pink? but it would be more into oh, the orange family. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. that, that That's a complementary and navy, color. It, yes, exactly. So blue and orange complementary. So then you go off the colors a little. You go deeper into the blue and make it a navy, and you – uh, make the orange more of a peachy color and then you could slide those tones around so the peachy pink ish color could be really become a burnt umber in the next room and the blue could get oh, lighter so, so you're pretty. playing with so that's really bold and then I would th- and then I would have lots and lots of white in that look um, oh pretty pretty a really safe bold option is blue and white you can't go wrong mm-hmm. with that. Oh, isn't you know, that think the think of truth. blue jeans mm-hmm. and a white shirt, a yes. blue blazer and, a, and yes. a white shirt on a man. You can't go wrong there, but it's it's still bold. If you're doing mm-hmm. different shades of blue and then the crisp white, 
you know, it's really definitely making a statement, but it's in the the safe bold Mm -hmm. department. But think about this. Blue and white, you could almost add any color to. Yeah, you can Mm -hmm. can add another color. color. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Like Mm -hmm. blue and white and raspberry or blue and white and some pretty green, you know, blue and white. And even brown looks beautiful with blue and white if it's done right. Oh, I love brown with blue. Mm -hmm. Me too. Yeah, I think those go Mm -hmm. well together. Okay, so let's talk. Let's see. We're we're coming up with some really great colors, and we've just told all of you about you know going saturated but rich. Don't get too juvenile. It's supposed to be sophisticated. Um, let's talk about. Let's say you wanted to dip your toe into bold colors. Where do you where do you begin, or what do you do if you don't want to change everything in your home? Well, on a small scale, you can go bold with, obviously, your pillows, your throws, lampshades even. Hey, even just flowers. If you really wanted to just dip your toe in, go with some bold floral arrangements all around the house. Um, Stacks of books could bring in some bold color in a very subtle, small way and very um, uh, transitory, you know, way you can move these things around. And even a rug. And as Yvonne has pointed out, rugs are not very expensive these days. So you could maybe get a rug for under 100 bucks or under 200 bucks and really make a pop. How about spray painting something in the room that was inexpensive to begin with? Like a piece of furniture or a Dare chair? I well, say, I was, I was thinking paint. smaller Ooh, things like a vase babes. or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah but I mean, I'm I was saying even very you small. could go bold with the, if you have neutral, like one piece paint it navy blue or paint it bright a beautiful raspberry pink and um then put a couple other pieces of smaller pieces of decor in your room that work with that yeah, the other thing i wanted to say along these lines is when you are getting ready to add the color if you're nervous about it you feel unsure of yourself one of the things you can do is to get some fabric or kind of a piece of of cardboard that you paint with some paint and just try it in the room just take that Or maybe some pillows that you can return if you don't like them. Just try a little pieces in the room and see if you like it. And that way it's reversible. If you don't like it, it's not like you've committed and painted your chair hot pink. (laughs) Yeah. So, you know, Mm -hmm. it's good to try it out in small doses Mm -hmm. to begin with. Exactly. And And if you're doing that, it can be a seasonal thing and you might... Mm -hmm. You might like it for the summertime in, but in the winter Good you want point. to change it to a deeper tone or something like that. So just to review, so we've talked about staying in uh, still a tight color palette in the color families, um, picking a limited palette. Uh, we offered up the blue and white as sort of a bold but safe choice if you want to try bold. And I, we touched on picking a palette and sticking with it throughout the house And so there's this flow and the transition from room to room. So those are all good tips that have already come out. Here's another one that I'm thinking about is changing up the percentages of the bold colors. So say you have two or three bold colors that you're working with. Well, one room, the, this, for example, if we're in the blue and uh, white and maybe say a green in one room, the blue is the dominant and then you but there's greens and whites in there. And then you transition into the next room and maybe green has more of a presence in that room and changing it up with textures and the um, use of it and the percentages can achieve the flow and not make it seem like that's a blue house or that's the <laughs> green house. Right? Mm-hmm. Now I would, if I did that, and this is just a preference of mine, I keep the wall color the same throughout. I agree. Mm-hmm. Or maybe yep. there's a, Me too. oh, this is a good transition though to another tip. There are certain rooms that almost call out for a little bold treatment if you're so inclined. Um, what rooms do you guys think those might be? And then I'll tell you the ones I think it might be. I think a powder room is, I oh, mean, yeah. we've done that. I was going to say, oh, yes, of course. The little We've done that. The jewelry box. That's right. Yeah. So in that room, just using that palette that we're hypothetically using, maybe you paint the walls a navy. Deep, deep navy oh. or a deep, deep green right. or something test like that. Test it out first. First, oh, d- not first. in piece no, 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 no green in the powder rooms. Remember the walls oh, because give of the off mirror. a yeah, yeah. You so don't I look- would do navy. Now, see, mm-hmm. I could live easily with that color palette. 
Okay, Navy I and did, white. but I have to say, I once did oh. have a forest green powder room when we lived in Alexandria, Virginia, and mm-hmm. it was pretty stunning. Mm-hmm. I don't I'm, remember feeling like the Grinch who stole Christmas in the mirror. Well, but, and that's, mm-hmm. that's just a decor. Maybe it doesn't work if you have blonde hair. I don't know. Oh, maybe. <laughs> well, well, yeah. Pesto pork chops over Parmesan polenta. Not that easy to say, but oh, so easy to make with Green Chef. Green Chef is the number one meal kit company for eating well, and we have such a great deal for you. You're going to save $250. Listen on for the details on that. Green Chef makes eating well easy for any lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. You know, we're getting into the busy holiday season, so it's a perfect time to have Green Chef help you out. Let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season with their chef-crafted, nutritionist-approved recipes featuring fresh ingredients and nothing artificial. And you know what? You don't have to lose track of your healthy eating habits during the holidays. Every Green Chef customer gets a free... That's right, a free session with their registered dietitians who will walk you through how to make clean eating work for you. So sign up for your free session and start on the road towards better health today. And that deal I want to tell you about, visit greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. So that's greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. Green Chef is a delicious delight any time of year, but especially during the holidays. What a wonderful vision to behold at the Green Chef boxes on your doorstep. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well. And it makes eating well so easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat a more balanced diet. So let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season. And if you've got guests coming, shop Green Bundles. They're now available at the Green Market. It's your one-stop shop for nutritious grab-and-go breakfasts, including vegan options, brunch kits, wholesome lunches, ready-to-eat snacks, veggie sides, and more. You can feel your best this December and do your best with Green Chef because they offset 100% of the delivery emissions as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. Go to greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 60DTT and get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 6060DTT to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. When I walked in, it always looked like Christmas with my red hair. <laughs> <laughs> but I just know that that's like a um, a well-known decor tip that you just really should not paint a bathroom green because of the green. The walls do give off a cast. And we've talked about that before in a previous podcast about how I painted a room white and I couldn't figure out why it looked so green. There was no green hues in the white I chose, but the the trees, uh, I painted it um, uh, during the spring and, and the trees were budding and it just got greener and greener and Hmm. greener. Oh my gosh, (laughs) it's so interesting. Okay, so tip to live by, no green Mm -hmm. powder rooms. But a navy powder room would be gorgeous. Navy powder room could be great. And a dining room Mm -hmm. is a really great place to experiment with some bold color. And I think that's a fun place. Or the study with the dark colors. I love that. Well, let me just touch on the dining room. If your dining room is sort of a, you know, smack in the middle and you're walking through it all the time, which mine is, that w- really wouldn't necessarily work for me. But if you have a house where the dining room is kind of like a room off to the side or somewhat off to itself, I think that's a terrific place to go with some bold colors, even on the walls, because lots of times you're not in there until the evening. And if you're using candlelight or something, it can be really pretty magical. That can be really beautiful. And then Anita's, mm-hmm. yes, she said the study, and she's been talking about this study. We need to get Anita a house with a study that she can have. <laughs> she has a study. I have, walls. Oh, I have, a, I have a study with a big No, built-in. but an extra study that you you can make <laughs> oh yes oh that sounds like fun yet another room to do <laughs> i don't know 
<laughs> well, talking I, about all these bold colors is making me think of all the bold flavors at HelloFresh. Mm. HelloFresh is our, our sponsor fave. for mm-hmm. um, decorating tips and tricks today. And HelloFresh is the meal kit delivery service uh, that makes cooking more fun. And we've all tried it. And I think we all agree. Well, I know we all agree that it did oh, make yes. cooking more fun. It made mealtime much more interesting and delicious. And uh, from the seasoned cook to a novice, you'll really enjoy preparing the meals from HelloFresh. Everything comes sort of packaged up, ready to roll, and you can get these fabulous meals done in about 30 minutes. For example, the prosciutto-wrapped chicken salt and boca. I mean, does that Ooh, sound like something yeah. you could make in 30 yes. minutes? <laughs> oh, you know, oh going goodness. to the grocery store, yes. doing all that, doing all the mm-hmm. chopping and prepping and la, la, la. No, it all comes ready for you to get rolling so you can sit down and enjoy it within Yummy. 30 minutes. Or there's- and it's... And it's fun. I've, when we, I mean, with the Hello Fresh meals, I had so much fun preparing those meals with my family. Oh, so, that's such a wonderful and, idea. And, you know, it was fun mm-hmm. because it was 30 minutes. You know, when it mm-hmm. drags on and it's two hours, sometimes people are, <laughs> yeah, they just hands drop are off. done. Yeah, they're they wandering off. off. Right. Yes, yes. So exactly. this was great. And what I found so interesting was their great instructions. They were, you know, pictures and colorful and easy and, uh, I've picked out a couple that I really like on this week's menu. One is um, Southwest Stuffed Peppers Mm. with ground beef, quinoa, and uh, Monterey Jack cheese. And listen, creamy Bernays strip steak with fingerling potatoes, sauteed green beans, and tomatoes. Doesn't that sound good? I'm already hungry. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) That yeah. really, no, everything is so delicious. And it's things I wouldn't necessarily make. And then, uh, you know, and it's flavors that my, I might not have introduced to my family and they're trying it and they're loving it. So we're expanding our our palettes at the same time. And so for de- decorating tips and tricks listeners, HelloFresh has very kind to offer a $30 a coupon for $30 off your first week. Wow, and you that's go good. to mm. HelloFresh.com and at the uh, enter the promo code DTT30 for $30 off your first week. So give them a try. We have, and we are really pleased with that. So that was DTT as in decorating tips and tricks 30. That's Correct. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now we were in the dining room. Maybe think of food. <laughs> maybe think of bold. Oh, you know, yeah. if, you, if, if you give Kelly a, a color, she'll want, you know, hello, fresh dinner. <laughs> I don't know how we got there. But, because we're um, talking about greens and things like yes. that. Yes. So we, we, now we covered some rooms that uh, bold colors might be really fabulous in. I have one more idea hmm. mm-hmm. that is really a toe dip but could be fun, and it's kind of like a little private thing. How about your closet? If you're oh, oh, great idea, I did that in my last house and it was just so fun. Um, you know, it's a small space. You can try it out. And it's, it was just really pleasant to, to have the closet, not just be white. And, well, and speaking of the closet, I've uh-huh. seen people when they redo them, put a bench in there to make it a reading nook where you open the doors or even put a desk in there. So, you know, while you're at it, painting those walls, you mm-hmm. can put something fun in there if you don't need the space for your clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you've got some room in your closet. But even if it's a tiny little closet, it's kind of like a fun little pop. And if yes. you've got that color going around your house, and even if it's the coat closet and somebody opens it, I mean, you know. That would be fun. A coat closet would be such a good idea. It's just, yeah, we, I, that's what I do. I'd love mm-hmm. that. I think that's a great idea. So just another little Mm -hmm. thought. (laughs) Another thing I want to add while we're adding color is to be sure to add a little black in your room. And this is something that my mother was a painter, so that's something she always said. Each painting needs some black in it, So, and each room needs some black in it. Mm -hmm. I so so agree with that. So that kind of helps anchor the room. Mm -hmm. It kind of adds that you want some variety of color in there. So that's, And here's something mm-hmm. to add And that's a even if black. you have a neutral room, I'm going to say. You want to Yes, I agree with you. Mm-hmm. But if you have bold colors, if you put an animal print, an animal print looks oh, fabulous love with yes. bold colors. Yes. Oh, I love animal print with mm-hmm. hot pink. I just mm-hmm. love it. Yeah. And it brings, yeah. But that brings in a little bit of black because there's usually either black or dark brown mm-hmm. in an animal print. And that's a beautiful way to bring in just uh, – a fun pairing and a little bit of black. I'm as thinking well. of your zebra print rug. So yeah. cute. <laughs> now that would look good with bold colors, wouldn't it? Oh, oh yeah. 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 So yes, if I yes, change yes. things up ever, oh, you know, if, you know, 
but I, I like to keep up with the trends, I must say, um, while being sort of uh, traditional and classic. Here's another idea, and I think this is such a good idea. If, if you're going to use bold colors, I would start, I'd start with a rug because I would put a great bold colored rug on the floor in whatever style I'm using, probably wouldn't go with more of an oriental. I'd probably go with something really fun um, and use those colors in the rug to decorate your room. Mm -hmm. Because right. then you've use got- Use that as your inspiration. Yes, because you've mm -hmm. got a, you've got a, um, a number of colors in a bold, like a, a colorful bold rug. You have a lot of colors in that. And that then, because I like that color block look if, of bold colors, like I'd pull, like maybe there's a beautiful deep teal in that. I'd bring in a deep teal, like Chesterfield sofa, you know, that's tufted. Um, and then it, maybe it has some um, like a, a, like a darker blue. Maybe I could do, um, two chairs in a blue or, or it has a pink and I do two chairs in a pink. And that's, I would, because for me too much print with all these bold colors really throws it off. I think you have to go with either a printed, um, cushions or seats of a, of a chair or a rug, but you don't, or, or your, or of course your pillows, but you don't want tons of pattern in that room. Right. If to you look have lots of updated. color, less pattern. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And I just keep it color blocked. Well, and you that's know, interesting. Solid. I, if uh, for me doing a rooms with bold color, I like to stick mm -hmm. with just two, maybe three colors to work with. Although I've noticed some of our, some, you know, of our friends in their homes are going with lots of different colors mm -hmm. in the same room. So what's your thought on that? I, I don't think, like that. It's but too I think, carnival like for me. <laughs> if, you have to watch your colors, but I think that's the the new way to do bold. That it's called color block, and just like how we dress, you know, that color block style was in, and a lot of times home decor follows fashion. Yeah. And I saw that in we had, I had to get used to it in fashion, but then I again see that in the home, and I think that's the new way to do bold. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. If I, when but I'm you don't doing have bold do now, I would do – now I'm all thinking about this little hot pink thing going on. But um, if I was doing bold now, I would go full-on saturated, bang the color, and then bring it down in hue and tone and bring it in in different textures and – and definitely only work with probably two bolds and, and a white. I mm -hmm. love that look right. very much. That's probably my favorite look. But I'm saying to be on trend right now, you're going to go probably three colors, um, pretty bold, pretty color blocked, and that that's what you'd work with. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's certainly one way to that do it. I mean, I'm not so concerned about <laughs> whether it's uh -huh. on trend or not. So. Mm -hmm. But it's yeah. good to know. But yeah, I'll it tell is you, information. I think, Some people I think are. So I when think you're good using to know. when you're using bold colors, you just you have to be so careful because you can go off track real easy. So I'd right. want to stay pretty safe. I think that's I think just that's, me. I think that is something really to keep in mind. That's that's what I was saying. Is that the colors? It's so much easier. The less color you use, the easier it is. To, to work with it for it to look elegant. Once mm -hmm. you start adding color, I think you're right. You can inadvertently have a carnival look when you really don't want it. Yeah, and it's it's costly, you know, to to change a lot of things or add a lot of different elements with new colors, and then maybe tire of it. I think that's a, the fear that I have sometimes about making a commitment to a bold color or even a bold tile. I was thinking about uh, maybe one of those painted cement tiles for an area in my room. And I just mm -hmm. think they're so fabulous and they have such a statement. Oh, I was, yeah, those it's like, maybe I'm going to get tired of that. And then it's, mm -hmm. it's cemented, you know, it's down on the ground. I can't get it. And then what do you want to cover it up with a rug? So <laughs> you just have to be careful. Spray yes. paint? I don't know. Yeah. No, I know, right? That's Kelly. maybe I have to stop with the spray paint there, but I could try it. <laughs> but I decided Kel just to be very neutral. And then if I did want to bring, all of our homes right now, if we wanted today to introduce some very dramatic, bold color, 
we could get some fabric, we could run to our local home goods, we could do the, uh, you know, run, have a TJ Maxx run, and we could do it. Mm -hmm. Because we've right. got this great foundation of neutrals. And so everybody could build their rooms that way and then have the choice to go bold or not. And, you know, Kelly, here's here's just something I, I just I really want to mention that when you if you love bold, do it. But just what you said, be careful that you won't get tired of it. That would be my main reason for not going bold because I tired I get tired of things easily, and also maybe get someone in um, who is a professional to give you a little bit of help when you're um, going for bold colors or just really do your homework. Yeah, yeah, or and you can try things out with swatches or returnable pillows. I mean, that's another thing you can do. And when you're trying these things out, use my tip: photograph the room. Step back, look at the photos, and see what you think about it. That's that right. is such a great tip. And I mean, even though I knew I was doing that when I was taking pictures, now that you've said it <laughs> on a number of occasions, and it's it rings in my ear every time I put my eye to my camera and I'm looking at a room, and it's so true. I was just photographing my porch uh, for a blog post. Uh, I over saw the it. Weekend. It's beautiful. Well, beautiful. thank you. I, my I, my pictures were not um, taken at the time I wanted them because we had uh, I noticed a hornet's nest. Well, I was. <laughs> Loving. I think I got a text. And, oh, hornet's nest. I was getting nest. all ready. To, photos. Yeah, hornet's exactly. nest. So <laughs> instead of my photos being taken about 11 in the morning when the light would have been perfect, they were taken about 6 oh. p.m., but a long day, no hornets uh, anymore. Uh, but yeah, I, I didn't, yeah you, it looks great to your eye. And I was smiling to myself because I was hearing Anita's words. It looked great. And to be in the room, look. Okay, so it's looking great. When I took the picture, I was like, ooh, it really needs something. Boop, mm -hmm. boop, boop. You know, another fern mm -hmm. or something else mm -hmm. to really make it. And then, you know, when you've got it, you see it. Yes, right. you do. Right. And, you know, if you want to, again, to dip your toe, a bedroom's a good place to do that. And, and um, like, if you pick a bedspread that has a very bold pattern and maybe a – uh, the background color, let's say, is a light blue and you're going to do, it has bright oranges and reds and all that on it. Um, that would be a good place to start because you could pick that sort of pretty light blue or um, washed blue and do your walls in that and then use the the bright, bold colors from your bedspread again in your accessories. And that's So I go ahead, clean out your closet, then head straight to Quinn's. I love every item Quince offers from wardrobe to decor, and I can really recommend their Ultra Stretch Super Wide Leg Pant at $49.90. The price is unbeatable, and the look is so flattering. It keeps you in on top and flares out of the bottom. Everything feels right with Quince. The price, the quality, and the sustainability. Quince offers a range of luxury wardrobe and home goods at prices within reach. And like Quince's clothing, their home goods are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabrics and finishes. Once you've cleaned out your closet and refreshed with Quince, you can also add something to your home decor. So give your wardrobe and your home the refresh it needs with Quince. Go to quince.com slash DTT to get free shipping and 365 day returns on your next order. That's quince, Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash DTT for free shipping and 365 day returns. Quince.com slash DTT. And let me know how you love those pants. Inevitably, with the new year, come wellness goals. One very effective and easy to reach goal is to add DOS to your wellness regime. DOS is expertly formulated organic wellness shots that support your liver in one delicious drink. Formulated with ingredients clinically shown to support liver health, potent turmeric, milk thistle, and ginger. There's zero sugar and zero calories. Did you know that your liver performs over 500 special functions? Since I learned all that my liver is doing, I started with DOSE to support all those vital functions. I take a shot of refreshing DOSE two times per week to combat everyday toxins from food, meds, alcohol, and unhealthy air. 
Since starting with Dose about a month ago, I am definitely feeling an overall improvement in my health. So if you want to give Dose a shot and invest in your health like I have, Dose is offering DTT listeners 15% off your first order, plus an additional 15% off if you subscribe for a monthly delivery. That's 30% off your first order. So go to dosedaily.com co slash dtt and use the code dtt that's dose daily dot co dot co slash dtt and use the code dtt Mm -hmm. i have a tip there so if you want to try out a different color on your bed but you don't want to spend the money on bedding on a new bedspread or duvet cover Buy a linen sheet in the color that you like. I sometimes use sheets, linen sheets, as a bedspread mm-hmm. or well, kind of I... a coverlet. So use it, that as your coverlet. And then when you say, ugh, I don't want this color anymore on my bed, then just use it as a sheet under And you know, I'm all bedspread. about those linen sheets. Mm-hmm. They're fabulous. Right. But they also look nice on top of your bed with nothing on them. So I'm just saying that's that would be a nice way to, I mean, they're not inexpensive, but you could then simply use them as sheets later. Right, you, ha- you can showing. reuse them. Or you mm-hmm. could just buy a bedspread and return it. Most places, unless you're getting it out an outlet that, you know, that's, you you can't return well, it. Well, I'm most just saying you might, you well, right, or that's mm-hmm. to test it out. But maybe you just want it for a season. You know how we like to change things mm-hmm. out. So maybe you just want to use it. It's a color that you just want in the spring. And then in the fall, winter, you use it simply as a sheet underneath the bedspread. I think when you're using the bold colors, um, you need to incorporate lots of white too to freshen it Mm, up and give your eyes a place to rest. And as you said, with the black, which grounds it, I think the white also lets your eye transition from one to the next. Uh, You know, and that being said, there are some rooms, like I'm picturing like rooms from, you know, those Bloomsbury days in Paris and, you know, when it was all (laughs) seemed so, everything was so saturated and lush and colorful. Mm -hmm. Um, But I don't know that you'd want to live with that every day. You know, that's just a lot. Um, So I think in a home where there's, uh, you know, actual people and it's not an artist studio and, you know, there's a family in there and it's a functioning home, that it's probably a good idea to have the whites and the blacks almost equally mixed in with Mm -hmm. the bold. Mm Mm-hmm. So each room has a, has a bit of color and it has places for your eyes to rest. Yeah, that's, that's an excellent point. I do really think about where are the eyes resting so the room's not too busy. And another thing I think about when I'm looking at color in a room is, is it balanced in the room? Is the, all the blue on one side oh, and good the point. green is on yeah. the other? Have it kind of mixed around? So Because I noticed that, again, I noticed that in a room of mine when I was photographing it, that... It didn't, that one side of the room I photographed and then that was kind of mostly blue and the other side was more green. And then when I was looking at the photos, they looked like two different rooms. So you want that color to be interspersed. Well, I think we had lots of great tips today. I'm really feeling bold. I'm emboldened (laughs) by (laughs) our conversation. And I'm thinking about all these pops that I might want to incorporate you know, maybe just for the summer, but I, mean, I don't think I'm going back to autumnal, but that will be coming soon. <laughs> and never okay. say never. You just mm-hmm. AKA know. Tuscan. That's right. <laughs> never never Tuscan. say never. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, remember, we want to inspire you to create a beautiful home. Until next time. Hey there. If you're loving our podcast like we're loving our podcast, we would love you to rate and review us. Head to iTunes to do that. It's easy and it would mean so much to us. And if you do rate and review us, we're going to enter you to win a fantastic giveaway. The details for the giveaway are in the show notes for this episode. And you can find the show notes at decoratingtipsandtricks.com. 